Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, this is David Benjamin from HealthyWildAndFree.com. It's been a while since I've made a video and I'm really excited to share with you the content of today's video. And the topic is how to get more probiotics in your diet without having to ferment vegetables and doing all the work or without buying sauerkraut kimchi for fermented pickled beets at the store. It's the simplest, fastest, and most cost-effective way to get more probiotics in your diet on a day-to-day -day basis and it essentially extends the shelf life of your current probiotics. So this is exactly what I do. Okay, as you can see here, I have a cabbage, a purple cabbage that's cut up, cut in half essentially, a little bit less than half, and I have some pickled beets, and I have some uh, sauerkraut in a bag, okay? And all that you do, this is the simplest, easiest way to get more probiotics in your diet, Essentially, pickled beets or sauerkraut, doesn't really matter what it is, uh, or you could even do this with like kimchi or fermented vegetables as a whole, is you simply cut up any vegetable, so it could be in this case uh, purple cabbage, because cabbage is typical for sauerkraut, it could be carrots, uh, anything that is fermentable, any vegetable that is fermentable, all you do is cut that up, chop it up a bit like this, and simply when you're pickled beets or sauerkraut is low, simply open that up, take a little bit, and throw it in the bag. Or if you have pickled beets in the jar or bag, open it up and throw it in like that. Now, it's literally that easy. Now, you're probably asking and wondering, David, how does that work? Well, the fermentation has already started with pickled beets. So in this pickled beets, there's already, from the water's fermented and there's already active cultures in that water. Same with your sauerkraut, or you know, sauerkraut juice, as it's called. So that culture has continued, and a lot of people, what I used to do before thinking of this idea, was I used to simply uh, drink the sauerkraut juice or drink the fermented juice. Some people don't even do that, uh, and that's great because you get more probiotics. However, if you simply add more vegetables to that solution, the vegetables are going to start fermenting. Now they may not be as fermented as the sauerkraut or pickled beets or kimchi or whatever it is that you already have going. There may not be as many probiotics, but if you give it some time, it will ferment more over time. So that is the simplest, easiest, fastest, most cost-effective way by far to get more probiotics in your diet and to extend essentially the shelf life of your sauerkraut, your pickled beets, your kimchi, your fermented vegetables. Highly recommend checking it out, trying it out. It's very easy and uh, it just allows you to keep your probiotic culture going and lasting longer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to learn more about health and wellness and about the supplements that I utilize, click the link below to get a free copy of Your Supplement Suck. I've spent, that's really zoomed in, <laughs> I've spent literally tens of thousands of dollars on supplements in my life, and what I've learned is that there's a huge range of quality in supplements, so I compiled a 33-page PDF report to educate you on which supplements are worth avoiding and which supplements are worth taking. And that supplement is available for a free download below this video, so check that out. Hope this tip was enjoyable and beneficial for your health and wellness. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.